GGI Mavic 3, so far. Got that coming up next. Bill the Drone Reviewer here. If you like the content of this video or anything on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. With that, let's begin. The other night I hosted Rotor Talk Live and I was joined by very special co-host Mr. Ron Braun. We spent part of the evening discussing our experiences with the DJI Mavic 3 so far. So without any further ado, let's roll that clip in its entirety. But the Mavic 3 so far, and, and I know you've had it, you've you've got some flights in, I've got some flights in. There's a lot of videos out there. What are your impressions so far, Ron? Well, I think I've got five flights and including the fifth one today. And, uh, you know, uh, I kind of, you know, uh, for the most part, all good. Now, I mean, every everything has, you know, a little glitch or something. I did have a, one of my flights. I did see a, a, a crooked horizon at the beginning of the flight, but it quickly corrected itself. And I haven't seen it since I did have a flight where I was flying in sport mode into a wind, you know, to a you know, a heavier than normal wind, I did see the gimbal push down on me a couple of times. So, I mean, there are a couple, you know, things in there that I, I wouldn't even call, well, of course, the rise may call it bug. I, I wouldn't call the gimbal, the wind thing a bug because that's been prevalent on uh, kind of all my foldable DJI drones. So um, that may be more of a, um, what do you call it, a, a, a physics thing than it is a, a bug on that. But, uh, Bill, I, I hate, I don't hate to go all fanboying, People in chat call us fanboys, but I mean, I love it, Bill. I mean, uh, you know, I mean the, you know, of course the camera is is what we're paying for the the four thirds camera. The photos look better, even the JPEGs look better. I played around with a little five point one uh, K video today. I mean that 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 kind of looked awesome, right, you know, right off the memory card. I mean all the things like the signal strength is the best i've ever flown the battery life is the best i've ever flown i could go on and on and on bill what, what what's your impressions how many times have you had it up i've had it up four okay and w one of the things that really impressed me and, and it's in my last video is is the quality of the zoom all right especially mm -hmm. like at 7x all right before it switches the other to the other lens how crisp that detail is it's seven times zoom was was phenomenal i mean you know it, it's like you could see for instance i did there's a little guard shack for lack of a better term the entrance to our development and you can actually see some of the cracks in the stucco from, <laughs> from that okay and i was over a thousand feet away i you know it's the, the detail on there it's just it's just so good and then I don't, and I don't know if you saw earlier i found my charging charging issue i was using i wasn't using the cable that was attached to the the charger. You I was using that USB cable that came with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. the APA. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was my problem. So once I did that, because I charged it up this weekend, just like that, and it was done. Had no about an hour and a half, there. right, Bill? Yeah, yeah, it, and yeah. it was fully charged. Yeah. I had had yeah. no problems. Hey, and back know, to your back to your Zoom comment. I mean, you said everything that needs to be said, really, except for the fact that you know we've had some Zoom with some of our other drones. Even the Me Two has Zoom, and and the, the uh, Air 2S has Zoom on video, and, and the Altel Evo uh, 2 Pro has Zoom. But, I mean, all those Zooms, you know, you, you play around with it. Oh, yeah, it's got Zoom. You know, that that's nice or whatever. Then you kind of don't use that much. But this is the first drone I've had where the Zoom, I mean, is actually something I would use or whatever. I would compose shots with. This is the first time the Zoom's really, I, I think, become a tool for a drone I've used rather than just oh, I, a, a gimmick. or. Yeah, I agree, Ron. You know, it's... Finally, we've gotten to point, and, and even even the 14x, okay, and, and I'll go a step further here, okay, it was still pretty sharp with a detail, which really impressed me because, you know, when you would try to do that, you know, it, it gets grainy, it looks like, you know, pixelated and, and things like that, and, you know, the 28, you know, you expect yeah. it with that, but yeah. the 14, it was good, and it worked, okay, it's out of the box, and it worked, I mean, you know, yeah, That's I mean the, the only uh, thing we had we had uh, Lauren Donner on Dr uh, Drone Nation last night, and uh, you know his, his comment was about that um, the zoom, especially the, the the second camera, the small camera zoom, that you limit to only JPEG photos, and the videos are limited to just um, you know standard color profile. There's no um, 
you know, you can't shoot raw photos and you can't shoot, you know, D-Log or anything there. So whether that's going to be updated with the January firmware update, we don't really know. Um, uh, you know, uh, maybe it will, maybe it won't. But uh, that, that's kind of the only con there that you're stuck with a lower kind of image resolution uh, 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 parameters there, you know, as compared with the uh, the four-thirds camera, which, of course. So have you been flying with your new smart controller on? Uh, first time today. How was it? Uh, well, let me get it out of here. Um, you know, uh, great. I mean, um, the, the binding process is simple. I, you know, bind up, but you know, just, you know, just seconds of trying it. Um, you know, it, it, the only bugaboo is it took a long time to update it. I, I, I'm going to say it, that, that this unit itself had a big firmware update and I, I had to go do something. I mean, it, it took like a half hour to do the first wow. firmware update on it or whatever. And I was on the home Wi-Fi. I wasn't out in the field. I was at home. But uh, otherwise, the screen seems a little a little brighter and it seems like the colors pop on it. So it doesn't seem like it's it's the same exact screen. The screen seemed better. And I was flying it in the field and, and it was still, it, it wasn't dusk yet. It was still kind of sunny. And uh, so I, I thought the screen looked better than in the first one. Otherwise, you know, it's a little bit different. You know, grips are a little bit better in the back here. But, you know, it, it, otherwise it's basically like using the other one, except that, um, you know, uh, it's much faster. It must have, you know, obviously it's a better processor and a, a more modern version of Android. So, you know, the, all the touch screen, everything like that works good. No, I had no heating issues, even though when I was flying, it was like in the thirties. So, uh, uh, heat wasn't a problem today, but, uh, yeah. You know, and, and, you know, I, I think Lon, you know, Lon, I had a long conversation chat about, you know, it's just so nice to have a device where you don't have to, um, connect it all up. You know, you don't have the wires, the plugs, uh, you know, uh, the uh, adapter, if you're going to put a tablet on, you know, you just turn on, you go. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. you know, it's, you, you've given me pause to thought, you've given me thought to pause about my triple check with this. And, yeah, I, and I, well, I bounced back and forth and, you know, I told them, well, if I had a triple tech, I could fly, you know, my, my all tell drone with it and, you know, and this and that. And, uh, you know, it, it was a tough decision, but, um, I mean, you know, I don't want to get anybody mad here, but I, I think I'm mostly going to be pl flying the Mavic 3, so I'm not that worried about the the screen for the other drones. This point, if you know what I mean, Bill, without yeah, without insulting any any other drones on this show. Yeah, and, and, and I and I don't blame you, and you know, and, and that's why I, it's given me pause of thought because right now the Mavic 3 is it for me as far as drones are concerned. So obviously, my 100% focus is on the Mavic 3. So uh, I'm still kind of toying that around and, and, you know, tossing that idea around and, and, and really giving it some serious thought because um, I had an issue this weekend with the built-in screen recorder on the Triple Tech tablet. Mm -hmm. um, when I did a Dropbox and transferred it to my PC, I play it and I always play it to make sure it plays, you know, both the audio and video and yep. it's fine and everything. Okay. I drop it into Adobe Adobe drops the sound part of it. Okay. It's sure. not even, it's not even attached. When I dropped it into DaVinci, it sounds like a loud screeching sound. Okay. Mm -hmm. No audio, you know, no voice, no, no other kind of sounds like a loud, completely loud screeching sound. So I have to go to, you know, get an off brand, you know, screen recorder on Android, AZ screen recorder, which I've used before right. and it works pretty well. But again, you know, here's the thing. You know, it's built in with the with the smart controller. You don't have to go out there, search for things, whatever, and it works. Okay. I, I, I did not test my first I did not test it today, Bill. So I, okay. I can't verify. You know, I'm, i mean the screw quarter on the old smart controller, um, it was a problem because if you you know, if you're trying to say record 4K video and run the screen court at the same time, sometimes you had a problem because you're over taxing the processor. In a smart controller, one, but uh, hopefully that's not an issue. Here. But I did not get the test. And and another th problem with the smart controller one is um, when you were doing the screen recording, the microphones in the smart controller one did not pick up your audio voice as well as if you were using your phone. I mean, I, I'm sure the Samsung phones the same as Apple. The Apple phone records great audio, and the smart controller one recorded you know, less of great audio. Yeah, uh, you had to have it up here like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you look like you're, you know, I don't know, you're eating your controller. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, because 
and, and that's what I found because, you know, I was trying to use that screen recorder and I'm like, man, it's like, you know, and I had to force myself to remember, you know, to hold it up there if I want to get a good, good audio for my screen recording. You know, otherwise I have to go in and try to enhance the audio to do it. And I don't like having to do that. So I'm hoping the DJI's put a better mic in that to pick that up better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, uh, 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 Zigzag Ground Zero saying that DJI screen is, is tiny. Yeah, it's like it's like five five point seven or something like that. So it's much smaller than the Altel Evo Two uh, Smart Charge screen, which I think is like about seven point nine eight inch. He's saying it has no HDMI output jack, and you know I'm no expert in this stuff at all, but it has uh, it has a, a you know a micro a mini H H uh, I can never say this right HDMI jack here i don't know if that's output input or whatever i did not look at specs up oh, bill i know you can you know plug this into a monitor and play it rail right thing i've never ever done that on any device i've got cameras with the same thing smart control i i, I you know this is one of the people i have no need to ever output the you know the video from this in onto a tv or a monitor so i've i've never tried it i could care less whether that thing was on there but i know it's important to a lot of people out in the community right and and, and i and i agree and you know one of the things that i ended up finding out was you know i tried it once and it and it, it's okay but you know it, it's like you're limited by your hdmi cable in other words you know you're not outside you got to be inside when you're doing that and you got to be hooked up to your tv with your hdmi cable to do something like that, okay. Yeah. I, I guess some people shoot shoot their video like they they keep hitting the stop button, so they have nice little segments of video. And I've done that once in a while, but sometimes I have a tendency to just shoot like you know twenty minutes of video and not stop thing. So I got a whole bunch of video of me just stopping, pausing, ch ch fiddling with the camera settings or whatever. Nobody would want to watch my unedited you know HDMI output from one of my flights because mostly uh, you know. I'm, I'm half time. I'm just messing around. You know, I'm, it's not like I'm flying the whole time, actually shooting something, you know, because again, I'm usually experimenting around and so on. So lots of times the drone just sits there and hovers for, could hover for three minutes to do nothing, you know, before I do the next action. Yeah. So, you so. know, one of the things I'm hopeful, obviously now I'm having to cross fingers because of weather, but getting out this weekend, there's some other things I want to do. I want to get some to do some low light stuff. I haven't had an opportunity to do that. Um, want to get, want to get in some endurance like slash battery tests, like both in smoke in sport and normal mode and see how that goes. Um, you know, I got a lot more th th that I want to put oh, it yeah. through, but so far so good, Ron, you know, I'm, I'm just still, I'm, I'm very impressed with the build quality of this and, and how, you know, it just, it's just rock solid. And that battery just seems to go and go and go. I know a lot of people talk, you know, have qualms about the build quality because the, the top part here doesn't feel as solid as it does on, on the Mavic 2. And, you know, you, you know maybe they're right. I, mean, I, I bet you there's a reason. I bet you they needed the same weight at some point, and that was putting a, you know, less heavy-duty plastic piece on the top to, you know, to yeah. save the weight. Uh, um, so, and, of course, you know, this camera is much bigger than the gimbal sticks out, so – you know, um, you could all you could say all these are build quality things, but again, we're all saying this to me. I, you know, I, I don't know if it's it just because it sounds a little less solid doesn't mean it is. You know, and of yeah. course you have to be careful with your gimbal, your camera, and your gimbal. Oh whatever. yeah, yeah. Uh, I, you know, whether this one's any more prone to getting, you know, uh, uh, destroyed in a crash or whatever, I don't know. People talk about the thin arms on it too, but. Uh, you know, I don't know. They they feel solid to me. Um, yeah, I haven't noted had any problems with that whatsoever. Oh, one of the other things before we we go to our next segment here um, that I want to mention is, uh, you know, I went ahead and I emailed State Farm Insurance, um, gave them the serial number, the invoice, um, so they have all that information. My new address. I actually hadn't updated my address with them, so I did all that. And as a reminder to all of you out there. Whenever you get a new drone, if you have, you know, a personal lines, personal articles policy with State Farm, you got to call your agent up or email them and get that information to them so they can add that on. And so you can be covered. OK, um, you know, and don't assume that you're covered. You know, even though you've sent that email, wait to get a reply back. All right. Um, before before you, you know, know that you're 100 percent covered. But usually when you send out an email, 
you usually are covered with stuff like that. But, you know, for safety's sake, and, you know, I highly recommend, you know, make sure you get a reply back from them that they got that information. That's important. Question of the day. What do you think of the DJI Mavic 3 so far? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, it's a great day to fly.